if I Googled Sistema and I walked into any gym, my guess is the average amount of combat value you would get out of that is going to be this ranking right here. Will I be wrong? Absolutely not. I'm right about everything. Perfect. You can call me Sensei Seth, and you better, you should, because I'm going to teach you some stuff today. We're going to talk about what martial arts styles are the very best. Last time we did this, we got a pretty decent amount of styles done. And if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out right here, that way. But this time, we're going to get into every single one of them that you guys wanted to see that I didn't touch on last time. I took all the suggestions that you guys had, and I even let you teach me about them in a live stream. Like, I, I took every opportunity to learn more about the style that I could. We looked up videos, we watched them together. Today, I will be ranking those styles on this list right here. Bam! Look, I'm surrounded by words, baby. All right, let's get into it. Please, before you watch this or after you watch this, I'm gonna put this in both, before and after. Do not take this as a, your style sucks, don't do your style anymore. If you enjoy your style, who cares what I say? If you enjoy like flipping and doing smoke bombs and powder screens and, and pocket sand, then do that. First and foremost, last time we did this, I put judo at a C. I take that back. Judo, it should have been a B. I think B is just right. Also in the last video, the one that I got by far the most was kickboxing. How did I miss kickboxing? And then I thought about it, I was like, how do I miss kickboxing? Because kickboxing isn't a style. It's a rule set, just like MMA. Half of these styles are just kickboxing with one small variation in the rules. Like it's punching, and it's kicking, and then sometimes it's also knees, and then sometimes it's headbutts. It's such a wide variety of things, it's gonna fall under B. It's gonna fall under B, because it's such a wide variety of things, you're bound to get a lot of stuff wrong, and also cardio kickboxing. Get ready to burn major calories. I know it's not a style, but if you sign up for a kickboxing class, there's no telling what you might get. Okay, so the first one we're really gonna dig into is gonna be Sistema. It's a Russian style of like, I, I like to think of system as like Russian Kung Fu, essentially. It's like very flowy and it's da 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 right? And a lot of low kicks and they do some takedowns. Um, based on the research that I did, which was obviously incredibly intensive, probably like NASA level research for deciding if they want to go to the moon, like that same level of research is what I did for every single one of these styles. Keep that in mind. But from what I found off a brief Google search and finding the internet's best videos, Sistema for me, uh, we're actually gonna start off with Sistema at a, at a D tier. A D tier. Russian Kung Fu, eh, I don't, it's not for me, you know? Yep, okay. I saw I needed to see. Yeah, system is D tier. I'm not going to show you the video I just watched because I feel like that's kind of rude. System is D tier. I don't know if I saw any videos of system of people sparring. That's going to be a huge factor. Also, let me get this out of the way right now. This is based off of how much value on average you can get from walking into any given studio with this name all over top of the gym. You know what I mean? If I Googled Sistema and I walked into any gym, my guess is the average amount of combat value you would get out of that is going to be this ranking right here. Will I be wrong? Absolutely not. I'm right about everything. Pancration's an interesting one. Um, the first I, the first encounter that I had with Pancration was watching The Human Weapon, which was a series where they pretty much go to different countries and try out different martial arts styles, and then they compete with one of their like their champions, right? Um, I wasn't impressed, I'll be honest. It, it was cool. It was very cool. It's a grappling heavy style where they're constantly moving each other's bodies and they throw punches to the bodies. Takedowns, punches to the bodies, advances in body position. Then there's like more modern pancreation. There's actually a super cool video of Khabib doing pancreation. Which is, I'll, I'll put that in right here, a clip of it at least. Like you've got Boss Rutten who did compete in pancreation. I think it was like Mighty Mouse also did. It has a place. An interesting place. But again, I think on average, walking into the average studio, 
you're going to get some some meh, you know. Uh, punches only to the body. I'm not a super big fan of that. They obviously have the wrestling and the takedowns, which makes them a bit more advanced if they were only throwing strikes to the body, right? Like having that wrestling helps a lot. Wrestling's obviously a huge contributing factor to fighting. Um, we're probably going to go for a B tier here. Let's grab shin kicking here. Shin kicking is an interesting one. Shin kicking came to my attention yesterday. Literally yesterday. And essentially the best way to explain shin kicking is two grown men grab each other by the collared shirts, stuff straw in their jeans in front of their shins, and then proceed to kick said shins. That's all. Literally, I just picture two, as, as Robin Black would put it, two Steves kicking each other in the shins. That's all it is. And then there's some takedowns too. Like there's some, they can roll each other over and they can flip each other. But for the most part, it's just two dudes going to each other's shins. Yeah, um, I'll be honest, there's not a lot to that. Shin kicking is going to have to be the first, first step tier, 100%. Shin kicking, I respect the hustle and the commitment to being one thing. But like pick something else. What are you doing? Okay, now let's talk about Sanda, which is a form of Kung Fu. Um, you could also hear a, a Sanshu. I think it's like supposed to be like a, a subdivision of one or the other. Anyway, pretty much it is kickboxing with takedowns. Like that's, it, Sanda's kickboxing, right? You've got some of the great MMA fighters of all time coming from Sanda, like uh, Kung Lee, or like I believe Wei Li is from Sanda. Anyway, very skilled subset. It's, it's pretty much just kickboxing, though, which is great. We talked about kickboxing earlier. I think it should have been ranked in A. I think Sanda for us is going to be A tier. I think it's a pretty easy A tier answer here. Strictly stand up with the takedown allowed, but I think after the takedown, break, and then you start over, just like most kickboxing stuff, much like Muay Thai. A lot of sidekicks in Sanda, which, which, in Sanda, which makes me want to like bump it up to S tier because the sidekicks, but you know, we're going to keep it at A tier. We're going to keep it at A tier. Speaking of which, we might as well knock both of these out now. Savat. Savat is kickboxing with boots on. They supposedly have like steel toe boots and then also the heels are supposed to be like made harder. So when they kick each other, it hurts worse. Does kicking each other not already hurt enough? But anyway, Savat, uh, is kickboxing, we talked about how all kickboxing gets an A, right? Wrong. Savat's French. It's French fighting, which means it doesn't actually exist. Savat, we're going to squeeze that here into B tier. Actually, we can get rid of kickboxing. At this point, you guys know that kickboxing is, you knew where that was. Street fighting. The idea came up that street fighting was a martial art. And I get it. And here's the thing, if you street, if you get in a bunch of street fights, you will inevitably get better at street fights. In a way. But, here's the thing. You will also get more injured, you will also, nobody wants to be around you. Like, if you get in multiple, like, if you have this thing in your heart where you're like, yeah, I'm a street fighter. Like, what? What? Street fighting. Prone to concussions, fighting on concrete is not smart. Um, it's just not a good way to go about martial arts. So, street fighting is going to be C tier. D -t D I'm actually having a hard time with this one. I think we're going to give it D tier because I just don't condone it. And no way do I condone it. Nope. Okay, Hapkido. Um, I have some buddies who do Hapkido, which is essentially Taekwondo with throws and joint locks, which already makes Taekwondo a little bit better, right? I put Taekwondo at D tier. I th th who, the people that I know that do Hapkido, spar. If you don't spar, I don't love it. In my opinion, you should just, whatever you're doing, you should be practicing it with as many variables as possible. I did some research. From what I found on average, I'm going to give have keto c tier it's it's very similar to karate i also gave karate c tier i think it's fair have keto c tier russian slap fighting the one where they both just grab the table and they smack the living tar out of each other yeah this is the stupidest thing i've ever seen um it is literally just asking for concussions it's really cool to watch but it's a huge waste of baby powder can't have that 
that could be helping like babies somewhere, you know, um, not touching grown men's beards. I'm going to say Russian slap is going to go into the F tier. Asking for concussions, no real fight value. Kind of cool to watch once. You d I don't really want to watch more than one at a time, to be honest. Sambo. Sambo number five. Everybody knows what Sambo is because of Khabib, unless you're in Russia. Sambo is like what I imagine the Greek gods would have done because they were immortal. Like they could just do whatever they wanted to each other because they know they were going to live forever. That's what I think of when I see Sambo. People just headbutting each other on the ground. I saw a clip last night where the guy was literally just to somebody's face while they were on the ground. It was brutal. Sambo includes striking, wrestling, I believe submissions, like transitional takedowns. It's got everything works well towards defeating another human. The striking's not the best. They've got some. They've got a lot of spinning stuff, at least in their sport. They're, they go straight down the middle. It's not like super clean like boxing is. It's way dirtier because of the takedown elements and the headbutts too. Uh, I'm gonna give Sambo. Sambo's gonna be the first S tier we ever rank here. S for Sambo, baby. I would actually, if anybody takes Sambo or teaches Sambo, hit me up because I'm kind of interested. But at the same time, I'm not because like. I like my brain, you know? We're gonna stick with the S's here. We're gonna keep going, s s we're gonna go sumo for this one. So sumo's probably one of my favorite martial arts to watch. I was a big guy. I used to weigh 290 pounds. I played football in college. So this like speaks to me, you know, just like moving somebody else's body, keeping the low center of gravity, hips back, body forwards, face in the face. You know what I mean? It's, it's mean, it's nasty, it's in diapers. I love it. There's just something about it that I think is so cool. Picking up another like, it's literally just manhandling each other. Pause. And now, while there's not striking, I think that you get a lot out of sumo. I think that if you trained in sumo wrestling and you, like, lived the lifestyle, like, you were a big, huge guy, I think you beat somebody with a knife. I think that you can do what you need to to somebody with a knife before you can, you know, suffer the consequences of being stabbed, you know? Um, I'm going to say... Maybe that's a large statement. Large sumo. Anyway, we're going to go sumo B tier. I'm all for sumo. I more so want to take sumo than I want to take sambo. How about that? That's crazy to say, but I, I actually stand behind that. One last S here. We might as well bang it out. Silat. Um, Silat is also French? Hold on. No, it's Indonesian. Silat is in, is an Indonesian style. Um, a lot of the time it involves weapons work, a lot like Kalari Pipe, which we're going to talk about after this. But they're like sports Silat is what we're going to talk about more here. There's like I think they're supposed to be combat and sport or something, just like every other style here pretty much. The sport is like a lot of kicking and keeping your hips back, and it's, it's a lot like Taekwondo, but you're not allowed to kick to the head, WTF Taekwondo, and you're like not scoring for points, you're scoring for knockdowns. So you're trying to kick this big, huge chest protector, and you can do takedowns and stuff like that. But anytime you're not striking to the face, I'm obviously not a huge fan of it. And most people who do Salat are not doing pen shot, from what I understand. I could be wrong about that, though. Regardless, I feel like there is a lot of sparring that goes into it. From what I saw, though, on average, I'm kind of meh about it. I'm going to give Salat C tier. A lot of like stepping around and like weird movements, a lot of like kicking down at the knees and like trying to bend the knees forwards. I don't think that's as effective as people think it is. Maybe it's because I haven't trained it. I'm not good at it. But yeah, I'm going to go Salat C tier. I think we're going to stick with that. All right. So ninjutsu. Um, ninjutsu is F tier. I'm not, we're not even going to talk about this. There's no need for you to sneak around. Uh, maybe like learning how to shoulder roll, falls and rolls, overall athleticism, very good for you, but as a practice, with combat value included, eh, you know, it's, uh, we're not going to talk about much more than that. Alright, parkour. Now, not to be mistaken with hardcore parkour, this is just regular parkour. Um, Shane Faison loves to talk about parkour for martial arts. I get a lot of comments that say, we'll just run away. And 
Mike actually makes a good point, which is probably the first time I've ever said that. I see Mike talks about how if somebody's trying to beat you up, they might also be more athletic than you, usually. Um, so running away is not as not the same. But if you know how to like travel over things and get from A to B really fast, which is like the whole deal of parkour, maybe you stand a chance. I think that on its own, parkour is not a sustainable thing, and I don't think anybody claims it. But parkour for itself, if you only knew parkour, how good are you at getting out of fights? I'm going to say D tier for parkour. All right, the last one we have here is Kalari Pipe. I did a video about Kalari Pipe. I did it with a Kalari Pipe instructor, incredibly nice guy. Um, he talked about how Kalari Pipe is an ancient martial art, supposed to be the second oldest compared to Pancration. It was disguised, much like Capoeira was, to make it not look like a martial art because of some overthrowing power that was not allowing them to practice anymore. So it became more demonstrations and stuff like that. Um, I'm all about sparring. And I've said this in the past. I think that as long as you spar with any of these styles, except for maybe shin kicking, that you're going to get better at fighting. You're going to have more capability to save yourself in a situation, right? However, I don't think they spar. I don't think they're even allowed to spar. Because of that, I think they're moving in the right way with the modern Kalari pipe from what I've seen. But I have to imagine on average, um, a lot of it's still theoretical, which I'm going to give it a D, unfortunately. Now, there is one more that I want to talk about here. I know I've only given an S tier to two styles ever, right? Sambo and obviously Ameridote. There's one style that I feel like really sticks out, and it's not MMA. MMA is not a style. We've talked about this. If you want to see another reason why, you can look up here. But the next best style that's S tier, the style that lets you break the wrist and walk away. Kick my leg, watch this, bang, and then a slap. You know what I mean? It's a style that stands above all the other styles. The style with the best right. pants in the game. The most style. It's Rex Kwon Do, baby. Rex Kwon Do, 100% S tier. It's not even close. Have you ever seen a Rex Kwon Do guy throw a sidekick? Yeah, that's right. That's because Rex Kwon Do works. Okay? Rex Kwon Do, S tier. Here's our list. Let me... Let me let me mull this over. Let me think about this. Sambo S tier, Sanda A tier. Do I not have anything else for A tier? I think any of these could be A tier if taught by the right instructor, if taught the right ways to do things, and you spar, you pressure test it. Any of these could be. Remember, we're going based off of the average here. And this also doesn't mean that you have to quit your style. Do not take this as a, your style sucks, don't do your style anymore. If you enjoy your style, who cares what I say? Practice that with your buddies and can, people who are consenting to that, obviously. There are some things that are designed for sport. There are some things that are designed for recreational. There are some things that are designed for healthier lifestyles. And there are some things that are designed for the streets. The streets. Your style can fall over under any of these categories. I'm just talking about average ability to fight. I feel good about this. I think this is right. Let me know if you have any more that you want to watch or any more that you disagree with. I can't imagine you would have any that you would disagree with because I was super knowledgeable about everything here. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, gosh, that hurt. That was a hard corner. Ah. Let the way attack. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you don't, I will Rex Quan Do you. Grab my wrist. Other wrist. Break the wrist. Walk away.